Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about whether or not you should be warming up your engine from a cold start before driving off. And the real answer is no for fuel injected vehicles. Uh, this in front of me as you can tell is a carbureted engine uh, which is a terrible example but it's great for demonstration purposes. So what happens when your engine is cold uh, you don't have great atomization of the fuel and so this means you're not going to have a uh, complete combustion because as you inject that fuel not enough of it vaporizes uh, so that you can have that combustion occur. Now as a result what your engine will do with fuel injection is inject more fuel so you'll have a rich air fuel mixture and that rich air fuel mixture ensures that there's plenty of vapor in there in order to have complete combustion. But there are some negative consequences of injecting extra fuel. Gasoline is a solvent so as you can see when extra fuel gets on the cylinder walls it washes away the oil from the cylinders and the pistons. Less oil on the cylinder walls means less protection, and because the oil is cold, it makes it harder for it to be replaced. This means the longer you spend with your engine cold, the more wear you'll have. Now idling the engine doesn't put much heat into it, so the car remains cold for a long duration. On top of this, rich air fuel mixtures can also cause oil dilution, where fuel passes the pistons and mixes in with the oil. Diluted oil can result in thinner oil with less film strength, promoting wear, and it can also accelerate the oxidation of the oil, meaning it will break down quicker. If it's cold outside, you can wait 15 to 30 seconds to ensure that oil is flowing, but you don't need to wait for the engine to be warm. It will heat up faster by driving the car lightly. By heating it up faster, the oil gets to operating temperature more quickly, and this is what you want to prevent wear. If it's really cold outside, the time it takes to scrape off the windows so that you can see out the windshield will be plenty of time for the oil to start circulating. So why do people still wait to warm up their cars? Well, one of the biggest reasons why this myth has persisted is a result of carbureted engines. Carbureted vehicles actually do need a bit of time to warm up before they can head off. This is because carbureted engines won't automatically adjust the air-fuel ratio based on temperature, unlike fuel-injected cars. You need a rich mixture of fuel at low temperatures to get enough vapors for combustion, so for carbureted cars at low temps, if you put a high load on the engine, it will simply stall out if it's too cold. Now, something fairly obvious, but I will state it anyways, when you do take off with your cold engine, you've still got that cold oil, be sure not to drive it super hard immediately. You want to wait uh, for everything to warm up to temperature while you're driving. Uh, it'll get up there quicker with light driving, but don't drive it really hard, as this will cause unnecessary wear. So thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Well, one of the biggest reasons why this, this myth has persisted and I'm also going to be including a demonstration to help prove some of these points. Now, there's all kinds of different ways in which you could talk about the differences between synthetic and conventional motor oils, but we're going to be focusing on simply viscosity. 